I want very quick final comments from our panelists on the most important issue of whether you believe we will have a dhamakedar Diwali this year or will we have a thanda Diwali and I'll start by asking that question to Mr. Hiranandani. Uh, I agree with uh, Mr. Amitabh Khan, but I want to put it across to him that I cannot reduce real estate prices more than 5% because both the buyer and the seller will be taxed at an extortionate rate if the price is reduced below the ready reckoner rate more than 5%. So we will reduce the prices, we are ready to reduce the prices, but we can't do it officially because of such regulation. So while we see a lot has happened, and I promise you we are delighted as to what has happened, we still need to rationalize many things uh, on the side of the demand side and to see that when we want to do all these changes, those are affected as quickly as the other changes which have taken place. But congratulations to the government for the wonderful thing they have done. That's very nice. That's, you've, you've said a lot uh, of things, laying out what more needs to be done. Mr. Piramal, will, uh, from your perspective, India shape up for a big dhamakedar Diwali or a thanda Diwali? I think the markets will have a dhamakedar Diwali but I think there are a few things which have to be uh, still understood and we need to do. And I need to bring that up again. The liquidity, I think uh, Mr. Hirandan, Hirandandani has not spoken about real estate, but I can see that development in real estate is coming down. So there is no, there is supply is going to be less and there are lots of unfinished projects will remain unfinished. So it's going to be a problem not only for uh, it will be a problem for the consumers because there is no liquidity. The point which Mr. Kant has made is still relevant. Liquidity to NBFCs is not there. This will affect real estate. Second, just last point I want to bring up. Nobody talked about it, but I think our, the real rates of interest in India are still the highest. The government has done a great job in keeping inflation down. But to pay 10, 12% real rates of interest uh, I mean, to pay rates of interest now when inflation is 3 4%, that means the spread is very high. And that is going to make us uncompetitive in the long term. Look at what the U.S. and all is doing. Now, the, every day, U.S., Europe, Japan, the rates are virtually nil. So that's one thing we have to, as a structural thing, look at in the Indian economy. You've been throwing bouquets and brickbats both. What are you sending more towards Mr. Kant now, bouquets or brick beds? No, Rahul, we are to be honest and frank and free and we should not be scared because this is our government, this is our country, we want to have a better life for everybody. Now, there are two things that are required to really make the Diwali in the future better. One, you must give enormous amount of liquidity to people. And for the liquidity is not coming through bank, it has to come through NBFCs because they are financing. And if you don't give it to NBFCs, it's not going to work. We're not going to send up upswing in budgets of cars and houses. And I think that's very, very important because banks are not geared up for the kind of lending, excepting the few private banks, and that's not enough. You need to lend at the place where people buy. For example, you have to lend to real estate construction companies. The banks are not going to give money. So you need to do that. And this one lakh crore where they sell the assets and pay back the banks is not going to work so much. Yes, the 20,000 crores for the housing is going to work. Second important thing, we had to bring down interest by 100 basis points in a dramatic way, possibly 50 basis points in the next repo and maybe 50 basis points there. I'll give you an example. Inflation is 3.25 or 3.3%. Housing loan is 8.5%. That is 5.25% real interest rates. Nowhere in the world is such a real interest rate so high. In the United States, housing has come to 3.75 or 4%. Inflation, I think, is 1.5%. That's 2.5%. You can't have 5%. SME pays 13, 14%. That means 10% real interest rate. You are creating a rent seekers economy. It can't work because people can't afford to pay and it's very real. RBI has to get its act together because the MPC is not doing its work. They're very high, set high rates. They've been wrong eight quarters. Last eight quarters in their expectation setting, they've been very wrong. They have to accept the mistake. The governor is doing it. He has spoken out. If these two things happen, I think we'll come back to seven and a half, eight percent in maybe two to three quarters. Mr. Kant, you're not getting a standing ovation from industry just yet. Yes, this helps uh, revive some sentiment, but they have a whole bucket list of things they hope that your government will roll out soon. Uh, so, Rahul, we'll continue to listen to the private sector and work in uh, the spirit of private-public partnership with them. And uh, I think the government will continue to accelerate the pace of change for the Indian economy. 
the government is fully committed to achieving a five trillion economy by 2024. Fully committed and will do everything possible to achieve it. And this would entail several reforms, including structural reform. They will entail asset monetization, public sector disinvestment, reforms across several sectors of the economy. And we will ensure that you have a Damakewali Diwali, but a green Diwali.